No great man dies with his mantle. Every man who dies leaves his mantle behind because mantles are not needed in heaven. Power is not needed in heaven. Grace is not needed in heaven. Mantles are behind. Elijah was living with his mantle. The Bible said and the mantle fell because it's against the character of God for you to live with your mantle. Elisha, we see today, Gehazi did not take his mantle. His mantle was in his graveside. The Bible said when they were burying a man, the man's body touched the bones of Elisha and the man jerked because mantles are not taken out of this world. The mantle of Catherine Kuman, the mantle of Kenneth Hagin, all the mantle of the Archbishop, all those mantles are still around. But until men are ready to pay the price, they can't assess the mantle. You must pay the price that those men paid to assess the mantle. But people are not ready to pay the price. There's a price to pay. If you can pay that price and you can focus on that cross. While we are growing up, eh, we spend time in VG, seeking face of God. Fasting, praying. But the younger generation of these days are online commenting on who is right or wrong. That is why the work is becoming cubersome for generous. Generous at 80 are still doing crusades because no one is ready to collect mantle. All the younger generation are spending their time on nonsense. How many of them spend time on the mountain? Spend time fasting? Spend time praying? If you really walk with this spirit, called the spirit of God, there are times and weeks it will tell you to go off social media. 